Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Barely Necessities for June 21st. We're a little bit early just to accommodate some scheduling stuff for me. I really appreciate it, Becca. Um, of course. I'm Rebecca Mosley, the co-founder of Laughing Place, and with me is our site manager, Rebecca Burbank. And once again, thank you so much for jumping <laughs> in at this earlier time. Really appreciate it. Well, you caught me on a good day because I was actually prepared. So that's a rare thing. So just all the pieces fell together. Um, we are going to be talking about some of the latest uh, merchandise coming out uh, around Disney and all of their various uh, empires, whether it's Marvel, Star Wars, etc. And we're live. So feel free to jump in the chat. Let us know uh, if anything catches your fancy is going to end up on your uh, shopping or wish list. Um, the first item we're going to showcase here, Becca, okay, this almost got me finally to get a pair of these ears that everybody <laughs> I know is, this color is so stunning. I really love it too. I'm, I'm like 10 years old again and I, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, um, this, it's, they're calling it orchid pink mm -hmm. and it is just an incredibly brilliant pink. And uh, oh, how funny. Yeah, Barely Necessities. It's the 420 edition. Yeah, that, 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 that's what we're going for. They've <laughs> <laughs> also got a pop socket mm -hmm. and um, the uh, the uh, spirit jerseys as well. Yep. Now, Becca, um, the kids version caught my eye because it has polka dots. Is that is that something new? I, I didn't recall seeing that before, but couldn't remember for sure. I've not seen the polka dots on a spirit jersey uh, separate from like maybe some type of theming that they have for it, but I think they just wanted to differentiate for the kids this time, and I'm okay with it. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they do more of this going forward. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I was sad when I realized that this was kids and not for me because I like polka dots and I like this orchid pink, and so I was. Yeah, I actually clicked on it to to uh, consider a purchase and uh, discovered that it is um yeah it is it is for, the, for kids. the kids and yeah, I agree, we talked Kyle. about it <laughs> yeah yeah the back yeah because then the uh whatever saying they have on the back doesn't span the entire thing all the way down to the shoulders or all the way down the arms it's just yeah just up to from shoulder blade to shoulder blade so yeah it feels cleaner than the mm -hmm. than like where it's just all over your you know kind of down your arms a little bit so I'm with I'm with you Kyle I I wish they'd uh, adopt that uh that uh look for the uh, adult jerseys um as well I still can't believe spirit jerseys continue to be a thing it means I me. know <laughs> but yet we've we've talked about them and kind of poo-pooed them and then we have I think six between the two of us. So, <laughs> you know, you just, I mean, we've, we've gotten everything on sale, but you, you just kind of, we started accumulating them and they're comfortable. Uh, I still haven't pulled the trigger on any of those. I haven't uh, picked up a spirit Jersey yet. I'm scared if I, I'll be like you guys, where if I buy one, I'm going to next week, I know I have six of them. They're like tribbles in my drawer right. <laughs> um, but continuing with uh some shop disney releases dooney and burke a new design this one's uh our friends from the hundred acre wood that map we know so well from the beginning of those adorable animated features and i love that it's the classic poo so it's it's winnie the pooh but not the disney version of him if you will it's that you know the from the aa milne books and i i enjoy it and then they also That's, do have that 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 classic Disney design as well within this one. And nice, but it's a nice little like um like wat watercolor almost with the mm -hmm. with maybe maybe more of a color pencil. It's just a nice little sketch of of Pooh and his friends. They look like they're on another adventure. Maybe they're looking for um honey. Maybe so. And that Maybe. design we have up right now, that's actually a pass holder, annual pass holder exclusive. Oh, so okay. that's not available to everybody, but the other three designs are. So if you really oh, like that, that my, one. That was my here. favorite. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad I have a, I'm a pass holder or else pass I have holder. to go find a friend. That's <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Borrow, borrow a friend. <laughs> 
I don't remember if they have limits on how many you can purchase. Probably, usually they're like you know between two and five. But and yeah. they're and they're they're calling this the enchanted neighborhood, right? That's what we. Or is well, that what I we said that it? because of the isn't that in the song you'll yes. find the enchanted neighborhood so yes. of christopher's childhood days so I was, that's what i was going for oh ah, so that's a rebecca burbank original was, right? yes very nice. nice very nice um, and i know it's hard to believe but oh hey nice uh nice frame in there rebecca. <laughs> um, but lilo and stitch 20 years ago 20 yeah. years ago is when that film hit theaters when that precocious little blue critter was wrecking all of the classic Disney films. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man, that was a great, how great was that campaign, right? It really was. It really was. The uh, the plush series was a little disappointing, but the <laughs> the concept was amazing, and it worked well for the for the movie release. Absolutely. I loved. Yes, no, I loved it. And then they had that one movie poster. I have it somewhere in my house, but the one movie poster where it's like he front and center, and all of the classic characters are are looking at him like, uh oh, troubles arrived. And it and it, the phrase was something like, "There's one in every family." <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like yeah yeah but uh lilo and stitch is celebrating uh, 20 years and there's a multitude of items um that becca's gathered from shop disney that they are offering in celebration of the moment yes i think this plush is super cute the two of them are it's a it's a dual plush and they're sharing a little uh, coconut beverage there i mean how sweet is that it's <laughs> so cute um, there's a poster where she's hugging Stitch very tightly, and then you've got some of the other classic uh, moments from the film uh, showcased around that adorable image of the two of them hugging. Uh, let's see. I was looking to see Dragonite. Oh, talking about Lightyear. So uh, they have um, they they have seen the film and they are sharing about their uh, what they loved Zerg hugging. So there you go. So now you know a little <laughs> bit more about the film. Um, we've got one of these collectible keys, yes. and there's a key pin now as well. So uh, if you're into collecting the sets, then well, I mean I shouldn't say they're sets because they're sold separately. But you know if that's part of what you've been collecting, those are both available now. And a, num a number of um, lounge fly backpacks as well mm -hmm. as a wallet. So you've got a variety of styles. A, um, I caught this uh, cooler bag. So you've got that as well. Just so many different um, types of products celebrating Stitch. Um, if you want to go a little bit uh, nicer, maybe a little hot, more high end, you've got a Pandora charm featuring mm -hmm. uh, Stitch and Angel his girlfriend well is it a girlfriend or just a gal i don't pal? know i i actually am not sure that i've seen anything with angel i know who she is as part of the you know stitch story but i i don't think i've seen was she from the tv show mm -hmm. yeah that's okay, where i remember so i haven't from. watched any of that yeah but and then they even have a monopoly board game where you've got scrump a uh, plumeria flower a record player surfboard um a uh camera and i'm not even sure what's gonna say it's a camera is. right it's not the dryer <laughs> oh yeah no it's like i see the camera but what's next to it? it looks like a spoon with a haircut and i'm really trying to figure out what it is. <laughs> not gonna lie i'm so confused by it. it's cracking me up <laughs> let's, let's see, see. i'll try to pull can it up I zoom my... in more and we can figure it out is it a hairbrush maybe it is a hair yeah i don't know oh. What's significant about a hairbrush? Okay, maybe somebody in the chat will know why, why, what that last piece is on the board game. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan, thanks for joining us. We're trying to figure out what this sixth game piece is here. We see a record player, a surfboard, scrump, a camera and a plumeria. And we're thinking that last one is a, a hairbrush, but we're not sure why. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's another, is it another type of ball. Was there another doll that she had or maybe one? Of oh, them? maybe. Know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe when did, didn't she have like, oh, didn't she have like the little voodoo jar with okay, like the then that would spoons, that right? maybe. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, totally. OK, 
um, <laughs> an awesome wild and wacky baseball cap. So just, a, like I say, a nice variety of items, whether uh, wardrobe, something for the home, something fancy. If you love mm -hmm. Stitch, um, be sure and check out the uh, Celebrate 20 Years of Lilo and Stitch with Shop Disney collection uh, that uh, Becca and the team here at Laughing Place have uh, gathered uh, for you. <laughs> Yeah, and we've also got Stitch Day on Sunday, so what? don't forget that. That's <laughs> so, right. So, yes, special, Stitch. extra special celebration this year. With the yeah, year. for sure. We got to celebrate that 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 uh, 626 day. So that is that is coming soon. Um, continuing with Shop Disney, we've got some betting options celebrating mm -hmm. a variety of characters. These are really sweet. I love the softer so tones. Too. It's like, yes. it's nice to have the Disney characters, but like not necessarily in kind of those strong, I don't want to say primary colors because, you know, that's not really what I mean. It's just bold. These are like a right. softened hue. Yeah, I really, I really like these options that they have. And I like that most, I think almost everything that we're showcasing today is available in like a twin size or a full size. Some of them are even available for queen, but or for queen size bed. So even if you're, you know, a little older than maybe the, the target range here, I could totally see myself having a fun Disney themed comforter for, you know, just sometime in the year when you feel like mixing it up. So. And Mike Mac is coming in and confirming that it is indeed the spoon. Okay. And yeah, it's that from that sequence at the beginning when she's got like little voodoo, in my opinion, little voodoo <laughs> uh, spoon critters of um, like her uh, Hulu partners. Um, in, in a pickle jar, as I recall. It's like a little fun and a little dark all at the same time. Uh, so yeah, we've got Luca where the pillowcase on the front says C and on the back side says monsters. So you can kind of mm -hmm. flip it over whichever mood you're in. Uh, the princess and the frog ones, I think are my favorite of these designs. It's got They're, the yes. beauty and grace on the pillowcase and uh, this nice uh, imagery with uh, Tiana and uh, Prince Naveen, but in his frog-like form. Hi. And I think my I think the gown is my favorite look for her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so perfect that that's how she's featured here. Is that a, a, do you, does that bring to mind more Lily or Magnolia Blossom? I kind of go back and forth. I think it's meant to be Lily. Like I think it's meant to be Lily blossom. too, especially yeah. because her crown has the the lily and yeah, yeah they're i think they sit on the lily pads but i can see what you're saying by magnolia blossom i think because i'm i think because i'm southern i think i think magnolia so <laughs> and now we're going to move into the realm of the big pin these are mm -hmm. those nicer sized pins tend to be uh more have a more of a sketch um look to them a mm -hmm. lot of sh different shading within the design so what collections are we showcasing today, Becca? Well, we've got here new styles for uh, themed to the Lion King. These are on Entertainment Earth. And then we'll talk about a sale in a little bit. But yeah, this is all. I love that it's an animated Lion King. I'm, I'm sure you could still do it with the live action. But that's, you know, that's the one I grew up with. So I'm very attracted to this uh, this, this series here. But yeah, there's they're $15 a piece. And yeah. Uh, their pre-order right now on Entertainment Earth. I think that Simba image has been used on so many different things. I think I might actually have a pin like that, but from years and years ago. So, so it's it's such a classic pose, though, right? I recognize it from t-shirts, from blankets. Yeah. By the way, Kyle, seriously, you didn't know I was born in a tiny little town? And... Uh, <laughs> But then I was raised in Southern California. But when I first arrived in Southern California, everybody commented on how I talked funny. Oh. Um, so, so let's see. Then we've got Nala with the beautiful green eyes. Yes. <laughs> Zazu. And then Zazu. So there you go. So there's a, a nice collection of Lion King from Figpin. And then uh, not to be outdone, they have a sale going on. 
Yep. As it says right there in the headline, it's buy one, get one 40% off and it's select styles. I think there's like 60 different pins that are part of this sale. It ends today. So head over to Entertainment Earth if you want to if you want to get some fig pins. They've got some Disney designs, Star Wars. I think there's a couple Spider-Man. Um, if you're into The Last Airbender or Gun um, Gundam, I think, Mobile Suit Gundam, they have a couple of designs for that too. But awesome. several Disney princesses, which they're really, really pretty pins. And then I also wanted to be sure to remind you, as Becca's noted in her articles, that it's also free super saver shipping going yes. on. So if you have a total over $39, there's a unique code that you uh, use at checkout for uh, that free shipping. So be sure uh, to visit Laughing Place and check out these articles about the fig pin collections. Becca will have all the links um, down below once we finish, so you'll be able to to check out all that uh, information later on. Um, I do not even know what this is. <laughs> well, Girl Girl, the unbeatable radio show. Yes, I'm not, uh, I, I did a very little bit of research about this. She's a Marvel character. She's one of these teen superheroes. She's been part of the Marvel Rising series. So she's actually worked with, uh, in the animated um, Marvel series that they've had. She's worked with America Chavez, who we've now met, and she's worked with uh, Ms. Marvel, and I think there's somebody called Patriot. I don't remember all the heroes, but uh, I guess the Squirrel Girl, Doreen Green, uh, she is now attending college, and she has her own radio show. So there's a scripted podcast. I know it's a lot, right? <laughs> it's a scripted podcast that's supposed to be her radio show, and there's merchandise for it. So all six episodes are on uh, are available now wherever you listen to your podcasts. And yeah, oh, wow. you can you can rep the show with uh, with pillows. There's a pop socket, some T-shirts. There's a tote bag, um, and I think and uh, yeah, some phone cases. So if you happen to have an iPhone or a Galaxy, one of the Galaxy phones, you can get this same logo on uh, on a phone case. So, so today I learned about Squirrel Girl, <laughs> the unbeatable radio show. Her sidekick is a squirrel named Tippy Toe. Uh, kind of, kind of little fun there. <laughs> okay, I just might have to check that out. That sounds a little, a little bizarre and uh, a, a bit fun. Yes. Um, continuing within the world of Marvel, and I also think the world of weird and fun, Thor. Love and Thunder is just around the corner and uh, we have some figures to We do. You. And we actually have six of the seven figures in studio. Yay. Kyle and I have uh, pre-ordered these from Entertainment Earth. They're now available on Shop Disney. Uh, but we had pre-ordered these from Entertainment Earth and everything's arrived. I'm not going to go through um, all of the different poses or features, but this is Gore the God Butcher. And then, of course, we have Mighty Thor. Uh, here she is with her hammer with Mjolnir. She comes with an extra head, so you can oh, that's not have creepy. fun with that. These are really nice. They're they're flexible, more flexible than I think. They're also dirty, and um, some of the articulation is difficult. Like, you really have to bend their legs. Um but other parts are a little bit easier. And yeah, they stand pretty well. We've got Ravager Thor here with uh, Stormbreaker. So they hold their, their stuff pretty, uh, pretty securely. Uh, a couple more here. We've got Star-Lord. He's looking good. He does come with some accessories. Oh yeah, I, he comes with his two little, uh, little guns. I've got yeah. those. And then we've got Valkyrie. I've got her holding her sword. King Valkyrie, I should say, because she's now the Asgardian king. Uh, Thor handed that role over to her at the end of Endgame. We've got Groot. He comes with some hands, so he does look a little bit more uh, normal. But yeah, he's got these attached pieces here, so he looks kind of like a tree. And the best thing with this series is they all came with a Build-A-Figure piece for Korg. And he's huge. Um, wow. I really, we really loved how this looked. So we're like, we absolutely have to get this. So yeah, here's a comparison of the size for you. There you Let's go. See. But uh, lots of, lots of fun. So if you are into the Marvel Legends, this is my first series of Marvel Legends figures. We write about them a lot, but um, I think they're great quality. They're $22.99 on 
uh, shop Disney right now. If you're going to Entertainment Earth, I think they're about $24.99 and those are all, they're available now. So no more pre-orders. And but. once again, as, as Becca uh, pointed out, um, in getting this com all six figures, you're building this central figure, this Build-A-Fig of Korg. You can see how they highlight um, here which pieces arrive mm -hmm. with um, which of the legends um, figures. Uh, but no, really uh, nice sculpt work. Um, you can see here, I'll you know, kind of zoom in, let yes. you take a look at the uh, Thor, uh, Ravager Thor uh, fig. So a really nice sculpts on these um, figures um, as we prepare for Love and Thunder to hit theaters. By the way, Mike Mac coming in with the, uh, I may or may not have a Squirrel Girl and Tippy Toe Pop. Mm. I'm out. So apparently um, my, Mac is way far ahead of me as far as the Squirrel Girl uh, <laughs> info goes, as he should be because he's our Marvel He's guy. our Marvel guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's our Marvel guy. That would be great if he commented like, what? I didn't know this character existed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Kyle is coming in and saying Korg yes. is hefty. Yes. He is. And, uh, and Mac is also commenting on how great the um, here. Let me make you big. There now you can. Oh yeah. Throw them off. There right. we. Yeah. There's Korg. So here, here's my head. There you go. See, not He's that a nice big too much. Size figure. Yeah, and Dude, that's um, a belt buckle and a half. Right. Right. <laughs> and he's got the articulation too, but it it does take a little bit to to make him move and but, then but the nice thing about that is then he's really sturdy because if yes. his knees were too flexible then when you try and and set him up he would just flop on you yeah so you you know that you can position him more like um to me i'm thinking more like a stop motion figure where when you put him where you want him then they don't just move all over the place so really uh nice ability to change up your uh display so um Let's see now. Um, we're going to showcase some um, shirts from Roosevelt's because we love Roosevelt's around here. I know oh, Kyle yeah. has some. My husband has been eyeing them, uh, preparing to buy some. Oh, you were even. I put one on it. because we were going to talk about it. This is that Technicolor Troopers they released on the fourth. So I uh, love that shirt. It's it's really loud. It's first day of summer, right? So yeah. You know, but yes, we've 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 enjoyed this uh, their shirts very much. Oh, man. Okay. So yeah, so I am your Father's Day collection uh, paid tribute to Darth Vader. There is a lovely variety of <laughs> patterns in this particular collection from Roosevelt. I say that as if we don't always talk about how much we adore uh, their, their patterns. So uh, this one has uh, Darth Vader heavily uh, featured within mm -hmm in the design this one i know becca spoke to you specifically that's my my favorite i don't know so much that it would look great on me to wear it but that's the vhs cover from what 1995 that was the first v, you know return of the jedi video that my family owned so i absolutely love that packaging series for for the trilogy and I thought that was really, really cool that they did that. It totally, I, I'm with you because I have this set and seeing this just brought back so many memories of yes. that being like the way that you accessed these ama amazing films. And um, Mark's asking if you got that um, shirt at Celebration. Um, um, I don't believe so. No, they actually sent this to us. They were kind enough to send this to us and it's available on their website, but I believe it's an online exclusive. So okay. um, when I la when I looked on Sunday, they still had these shirts um, and they have kids styles too. Um, and then they offer this um, Empire Strikes Back uh, uh, pattern. You've got um, Luke training with Yoda. You've got... Um, Leia in her Bespin outfit along mm -hmm. with Lando there in the foreground. So a nice little array of images um, from Empire Strikes Back. There's this Mustafar yes. inspired shirt uh, with the uh, Jedi logo and the Empire um, symbol. I think that's the Empire symbol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It com like it's both sides of Anakin, right? How he's, oh, of course. which I think is really, really cool because it this shirt more than any of the others, I think kind of tells a complete story or at least the, you know, here's where we started and here's where we, where we wound up. 
Mm -hmm. And then um, this one's really subtle. Mm -hmm. I mean, when it, you would have to, you know, get a really good look at it to to connect it with Vader. But it's in essence those dis the display that you see kind of within his armor, and they've yes. turned it into this pattern um, where it's mostly grays and blacks with the uh, you know familiar red illuminated element uh, from his armor. So uh, very cool. I think uh, this one and the Beskar armor pattern are the ones that uh, my husband keeps looking at. Going, mm, I might have to get those. So, so yeah, we are, uh, he's in the midst of redoing his wardrobe and, okay. uh, and he was, I was showing him uh, Roosevelt's last night and realizing my, our budget for his wardrobe is about to change dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, now we're going to move into the world of Star Wars sneakers. Believe it or not, you can celebrate Star Wars with your feet. Yeah, there's some Chewbacca sneakers right here. You can see his bandolier um, uh, represented in this strap across the ankle. Boba Fett, I think, is my favorite uh, realization uh, within this uh, variety of shoes from fun.com. Mm -hmm. You've got his familiar kind of olive uh, green, kind of an army green uh, look, and then the insignias that appear on his armor, yes. along with the uh, Mandalorian um, uh, skull. That it's not a Mandalorian skull, obviously, but I can't. Uh, Mythosar, right? Yes, thank you. I, oh. I'm gonna forget it every other time, so because <laughs> I've I've done posts where I'm like, what is the name of this? And I have to type up Mandalorian logo, and I'm like, oh, but today, <laughs> yay, um, and yes. Celebration is in the UK next year. Very exciting uh, that the, it will be back across the pond, as they say. So, um, man, if you did not go to Celebration, be sure and stop by Star Wars official um, uh, YouTube and check out the highlights. Laughing Place also had tremendous coverage. So if you check out our mm -hmm. YouTube channel, you'll find many videos um, from Celebration. And on the website, you will also find many articles because we had several correspondents um, on site at Celebration, doing our best to bring you the events as they were happening. And uh, so lots of fun reading and uh, lots of great images. The uh, footage from the Mandalorian um, ex exhibition, particularly um, beautiful. Some great editing by Kyle, our editor here, who is married to the lovely lady over here. So yeah, so I just want to give a shout out for uh, that right here on our YouTube. Uh, let's see, Becca, I think one more pair of sneakers. And it oh, is yes. Hoth Leia. Yep. Leia, sorry. Those are so the other two are available right now. This is a, still in a pre-order phase, but these are coming in August. I I do like these a lot. I love that it's Leia, of course, but also I'm always siding with the rebellion. Um, so I love these sneakers. I, I especially not only do they just say Le Leia to me, but they just but they say Hoth Leia. Yes. Like it's yes. so weird. It's a pair of sneakers and yet I'm just like and you know Hot Leia right there. All well, there. and it's the best movie in in the entire Skywalker saga. That's for sure. IMO. Uh yep, yep. No, 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 no humble opinion there. That's just that's fact. Right. <laughs> Not opinion. Uh, so yeah, so those are all from fun.com and you can learn more about those in the article that'll be be uh, highlighted below. And for many, many of the items that we're showcasing, we do get an affiliate um, fee if you uh, purchase through Laughing Place. Uh, no additional uh, cost to you, but it does help uh, fund uh, our endeavors, uh, keep the lights on, so to speak. So I uh, really appreciate your support with that. And Becca, I had to showcase these. I know I'm throwing you a bit of a surprise, but check okay. it out. I was over at Rock and Socks. And they've got That's some adorable amazing. rescue ranger socks that have popped up. I didn't even, I just, they had, I missed out on those. I guess they've been around probably since that film debuted on Disney plus, but I'm sorry. These Dale socks are the, the best <laughs> with his little Hawaiian shirt pattern. I right. All over that. It's yeah. Well, so the movie, the movie was really fun. I don't really remember the uh, TV series, but yes, I can see those, those socks are, yeah, they did well. <laughs> Okay, you were too young, too old for the TV series. We just didn't watch much other than PBS when I was growing up, so okay. I don't think I we didn't have cable. Uh, at least, yes. yeah, when I was really young, we did, and then we didn't. So uh, I kind of missed that 
that era of television. But we would go to, was it Mickey's birthday land? And and then it turned into, I forget, but I remember seeing the the, the stage shows with, okay. you know, Tailspin and the Rescue Rangers. Oh, so, that's adorable. I love I know that, that, that it's through the parks. Yes. Through the parks that, that you, you have an affinity uh, for the Rescue Rangers. Yes. That's pretty awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, and that has brought us to the uh, through Becca's list, and now you get a little treat. It's today's Sensational Seven. And today is National Seashell Day. I know, shocking. I'm guessing because it's the first day of summer. And you go and to the so beach. Therefore, it's like National Seashell Day. And so um, what I try and do is collect a variety of items loosely inspired by the dwarfs. And that would be Sleepy, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey, Sneezy, Bashful, and Doc. Um, I'm going to skip Sleepy and jump to Happy. And then I'm going to come back to Sleepy because that one's a special one today. Uh, let's see. So for Happy, we have, let's see, uh, these um, ears from Bobble Bar. It's uh, in celebration of the Little Mermaid. So you've got... The beautiful seashells, right, that we associate with Ariel, her green uh, ta mermaid tail, and her pink, her purple seashell bra. So there you go. There's her uh, a look of uh, Ariel in a headband for Grumpy. Okay, I don't know if you've seen this toy in person yet, or if you've seen no. video of this toy. No, but <laughs> it won't take very long for this toy to make you grumpy. It okay. is crazy fun but ridiculously loud it is like bringing hey hey home <laughs> so <laughs> and yes sally is selling all these seashells and she's selling them by the seashore just in yes. case you're wondering <laughs> um so yeah so this is a uh, clucking hey hey you can find him at target um you can actually right now there's only four left at the Kissimmee west store so you know if you want one better go grab it now but when, like, like I say, he, uh, he like, by, he like shakes and clucks. He's quite loud. Uh, dopey. I like for dopey. I usually go with something sparkly, like his eyes in the animated feature. And here we have a shell and diamond necklace. This is available from Shop Disney uh, in celebration of the Little Mermaid. It's got that two tone look. Uh, mm -hmm. So a little bit of rose gold, a little bit of silver. So, um, yeah, and then for Sneezy, he needs somewhere to keep his tissues. We've got a Bumpkins Wet Proof Wet Bag. These are one of those bags that you can put wet junk in, zip it up, put it in your bag, and not worry about it getting everything else in your bag all nasty. So uh, this is available over on Amazon, and it features Ariel and her purple seashells. So grab that. For Bashful, we're going a little bit more subtle. And a Roosevelt shirt. Mm -hmm. This is her secret grotto. You can find Ariel just, you know, kind of slightly tucked in and, and hidden off to the side. Um, Mark, as far as endorsed by Disney, we do our best to highlight only licensed um, Disney products um, on, on Barely Necessity. So, so every once in a while, we'll do like a special salute to kind of... Uh, homemade or fan produced, but for the bulk of it, we're going to be highlighting um, licensed, licensed. Uh, products. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And then for Doc, I like to go kind of the original. And in this case, it is a beautiful, long flowing hair aerial. Look how tall that doll is. And her hairbrush is a dingle hopper. <laughs> so if you, if you want a, a mini me version of uh ariel you can stop by amazon but finally are you ready becca yes, yes. Okay, it's sleepy okay so we're going pajamas <laughs> it is an adult onesie oh, of, oh. <laughs> of ariel wow yeah that's a look yes it is <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> yep there you go i like how one of the comment one of the reviews it's like this wasn't as cute as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <I'm> like, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like though that they. I like the idea of it. <laughs> right. I love the little, the, just the little triangle. And by the way, this is this is not Ariel. This is a, a redheaded mermaid. So okay. Just, a, just so you know, but I like to have seashells, so I went with yes. it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right Why after not? I talk about how I make sure I do licensed <laughs> stuff, but. 
<laughs> Every once in a while, though, we did say sometimes we'll highlight some other things. <laughs> but yeah, so that's so fun. Available over on Amazon, and I couldn't, I couldn't not showcase it. Oh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Ooh. I might, I might have to make a purchase before the next LP summit. I was going to say new LP series, <laughs> like Mac tries a thing is a series that we have. <laughs> then we can have Mac wears a thing. <laughs> Mac wears a thing. Oh no. Mac, what have you done? Oh, that would be, <laughs> yeah, too fun. Apparently he's got one in one, uh, tries the thing. Uh, coming up that uh, may or may, may not have been delightful. So stay <laughs> tuned. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> so, right? Yeah. See, Nikki's like, best idea ever. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, and finally, uh, this is when Becca gets to tell you all the things that have been showcased on Laughing Place that we just didn't have time to chat about this week. That's right. So in between celebration and the D23 Expo, we have San Diego Comic Con and Loungefly and Funko have already started to reveal some of the items that will be launching during the convention and then most, I think, are going to be available at um, various retailers. So even if you're not going to uh, SDCC, you can still get these items. But yeah, we've got Star Wars, we've got Marvel, we've got Disney, lots of great stuff. Um, there's a Megara uh, Hercules 25th anniversary special edition doll. So that's that 40 or $50 price range. That's coming um, at the end of the week. There's a light year collectible key on Shop Disney right now. It is complimentary with the purchase of $25 or more, but it doesn't apply to sale items. So if you're buying something on sale, you cannot use the uh, light year code. But other than that, they're still available. Uh, Mickey Mouse, the main attraction, they just released series four, which is It's a Small World. And several of those items are still available on Shop Disney. Um, Ashley Eckstein is gonna be signing those Ewok ears that she has. She'll be at uh, Disneyland Resort later this week, I think on Thursday. So if you're heading out there, you might get to meet her and have the ears signed. And then we've got some Indiana Jones merchandise coming to the Disney parks and coming to Shop Disney in the next couple of days. And there's a Star Wars, is it OLED? Is that how you say it? Television. So a special themed Star Wars TV from LG that uh, went on sale or pre-order today. And when I looked before our show, it was still available. They had not sold out, but it seems like it's pretty cool. They have some some special Star Wars features, so. Very cool. So once again, the links to these items will be um, found below. Becca will make sure she always does a great job of letting everybody find uh, what we've been chatting about here on Barely Necessities on a personal note. Um, for those of you who follow uh, Doobie and I on our socials, uh, Doobie's uh, surgery was today. He is having bariatric surgery. Uh, it happened today. It went smoothly. Thankfully, the hospital is very close by. So with the various protocols, it was just best for me to wait at home and I will be able to see him soon. Um, so not quite yet. He's in that recovery phase. So um, hopefully uh, we will be posting uh, more updates on our socials. Um, later about that, but I wanted to thank everybody because I've been getting a lot. We've been getting a lot of messages. We really appreciate your support and your kind thoughts and your well wishes. And I know he's looking forward to being back on camera soon and hosting the ridiculous fun um, that he does here on our YouTube um, channel. So with that, I think tomorrow Mac and Ben will be discussing Marvel. Uh, we've got the uh, tonight on the Disney Parks official. Uh, channel is uh, harmonious. They're I'm, I'm sorry, That's it's right. on Disney Plus. On Disney that's Plus, right. I is, forgot about that. It's harmonious live, so that that's happening. Um, and we've got um, let's see, and and I'm going to be back later this week with Mike Celestino discussing the finale episode of Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to see how they tie all this up. Uh, yes couple of threads hanging out there. I'm interested to see how it's woven together. Yeah. Uh, gotten a little bit of a tease with the character posters that they've uh, put out on Twitter. So yeah, so lots going, lots going on and uh, we will be around here. So be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all things Disney because that's what we do here at Laughing Place. 
So take care and uh, we will see you all next week. Thanks again, Becca, for jumping.